This is definitely a tricky first question. I think a lot of people are going to fall for trap because they're moving a little too quickly. So let's take a look at the sentence and see what we can get out of it. Interruptions in the supply chain for microchips used in personal electronics have challenged, make sure you notice that word, an economist's assertion that retailers can expect robust growth in sales of those, those devices in the coming months. The delays are unlikely to blank her projection entirely, but will almost certainly extend its time frame. So they're, they're saying that she's wrong. So we are kind of looking for a word like challenge. So it, it does kind of mean that there's some nuance to it, but that would be at least my starting point. And if I go with that, right, that's kind of a negative word, that would get rid of a word like underscore, which means just something like emphasize. So that doesn't fit here. And then withdraw, that, that hopefully just sounds weird. She would have to withdraw her, um, her I guess, projection. It, it wouldn't make sense for like, the delays to withdraw the projection, right? So, and I guess that actually is gonna happen uh, to be the same problem with the other wrong answer here, is we're, we're trying to say something negative, but we wanna make it clear, like what is doing this action? What is doing the challenging, right? So before it was okay, because challenge is a pretty flexible word. We can say that these interruptions challenged the assertion, right? That's kind of what we're saying. So the delays are unlikely to, it, it, we're trying to continue that idea, but notice it's delays, it's, it's interruptions, these are things doing the action. So a person can withdraw their assertion. They can say, I'm wrong. Um, so that doesn't make sense because it's not a person who's, who's doing the challenging here. There, it's also the problem with the word dispute. This is also a negative word. It means to kind of disagree with, but it's, again, it delays are unlikely to dispute her projection? No, no, no. Like a delay can't dispute something. Um, a person can dispute something, right? Another economist could dispute her assertion and say, no, you're going to be wrong. But it doesn't make sense for the delays to do that. So this is more an, uh, a problem with usage, right? Certain words might be synonyms or close to it, but it doesn't mean that they can be used in the same situation. So it, it's just kind of like the wrong thing doing these actions. Whereas invalidate is a more flexible word that does fit here, right? The delays are unlikely to invalidate her project projection, meaning they're not likely to say it's completely wrong, but they are going to extend the time frame. So she's not totally wrong. It's just that she's kind of wrong. And so there is this also element of degree, a change of degree here. So this is a tricky one. And like I said, I think a lot of people who get it wrong are going to just move too quickly. They're going to see a word like dispute or withdraw at the beginning of the choices and be like, oh, that, that looks good. And they're just not even going to bother to really consider choice D because they just never get there. So always make sure that before you choose something, you read all the choices. This is a very common move that the SAT makes, that one of the first two choices might be a trap. And then they're expecting you to kind of just fall for it very quickly and move on without looking at all the choices. So always read all the choices just to play it safe.